Hey everyone, Taylor here at North 40 Fly Shop in Ponder Ray, Idaho. Today we will be tying Senyo's Wiggle Stone. Combining some of Greg Senyo's original materials and fly design, the Wiggle Stone adds an action to a nymph that fish cannot resist. The articulated body of the fly rolls as it tumbles helplessly downriver close to the bottom. For western water applications, it is used best as a dropper during squala, goldens, and salmon fly hatch periods. Though designed as a Great Lakes steelhead pattern, it can be tied in many different sizes and color combinations to imitate almost any of the giant stoneflies. Variations of this fly can be tied to imitate a hexagenia or helgramite nymph, so don't rule it out for warm water fishing for smallmouth and other species. Don't forget to check out North 40 Fly Shop's other tying videos and media on Facebook and Instagram. Let's get tying. All right, so to start Senyu's Wigglestone, we're gonna start off with a Vivas 6 aught black thread and uh, an Umqua Trout 20. Um, it's a specialty shank, it doesn't have a hook point. That's gonna be the wiggly part of our uh, Senyu's Wigglestone. So I'm gonna go ahead and dress the hook. I'm going to take it as far back as I need to to cover up most of that shank. And then for our tail, we're going to use black turkey bites. And the way I like to tie those in, I like to cross them just like so. And I'm going to lay them. Generally, I like to make the tail about three quarters to two thirds of the length of the shank, the hook. I'm just going to cross them, lay them on, and then as I'm tying them down, I kind of adjust their position where I want them. And then I'm just going to cover up everything. I'm going to wrap back the very back. Our next step, we're going to tie in our wire. And I just use a medium black ultra wire. Just going to tie that in along the shank and facing back towards the tail. Now we're ready to dub our body. Gonna take our black peacock ice dub. I'm just gonna dub up. I'm gonna go back and forth with this dubbing a couple of times. Use a liberal amount to build up a body. And then I use a black thread to kind of smash everything down. You can you can build up a taper to this body, or you can just have it level. It's totally your call. I like leaving it pretty buggy. So now we're going to counter wrap our wire. all the way to the eye of this shank. I'm going to wrap over the wire, pull it back, and then I'm going to wrap in front pretty tight. And then I'm just going to windmill that off instead of trimming it. Then I'm going to whip finish that. So that's our, our rear shank here. Now for our front shank, we're going to use a Umqua 105 in a size 10. Um, pretty strong nymph hook down eye. I'm going to dress this all the way back to the barb. And then we need to take our senyo wire. 
and this is the sinew wire for a size 6 or smaller. So I'm just going to wrap in a loop. This is not going to be a weight bearing loop, so you don't have to worry too much with you know how it's wrapped in necessarily. But then I'm going to tighten that wire, feed it through the eye of that back shank. I want to leave that loop loose enough that the back end here will be able to wiggle around a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take two more bytes and we need to kind of estimate where what length they are going to these need to make a wing case and make legs as well. So I'm going to tie them in roughly two times the length of the shank of the hook. We're just going to tie them in straight back. So we have those tied in back. Now we're going to take some more black peacock ice dub I'm gonna build up a pretty decent little ball of dubbing about halfway up that shank and we're going to take those two biots we're going to wrap or uh, pull them forward and then each end once they're forward I actually bend them back again after I tie them down and this is going to imitate legs now essentially we're going to repeat that same step again to finish off the fly. So I tied those two in backwards, now I'm going to dub again. I like a pretty thick body. Again, pull each of those forward. So again, we have two sets of legs now. Now, to finish it off, this is an optional thing. I'm going to take two biots. I'm going to tie them in as antenna. And 
and these are facing forward. And I'm just going to whip finish over both. And I like to seal everything up with uh, the Loon Flow. And hit it with your torch. And there you have it. So this thing's going to kind of wiggle around in the water. It adds a lot of realism to how a fly tumbles in the current. So feel free to check out our other videos um, at North 40 Fly Shop.